Hello and welcome back to my channel. Well, today I am making these little house pockets. I've seen people doing it all over YouTube and it just looks too darn cute. So I wanted to give it um, give it a try. So this is my version of the little house pockets. And I've decided to put a paper clip uh, chimney that kind of holds the flap down. So when you raise the flap, you've got a little pocket there to put your tags and stuff in. So I've got my windows and my door, and I put the little um, uh, eyelash yarn to suggest smoke coming out of the chimney. I hope that worked. I don't know if it worked or not, but I think it's cute. I'm pretty happy with it. It's got little tags in it. I've got a crystal for my doorknob on this one, and I've got a flower with a pearl for my door my knob on this one and of course I've got my crystal my bling bling so let's make them these are fun now you can make one cut one long strip and fold the bottom up for your pocket if you want to I didn't because if I did one of the sides with the writing was going to be upside down so <clears throat> I'm just going to cut mine separately okay so I just cut a piece for our pocket so on mine you can do these any size you want to <clears throat> but I started with five and a half by three and then I just cut a little edge here and I took that piece and flipped it backwards to cut the matching edge here then once I had that one done I just cut this one to match that so that would be fine all right, so my little pocket measures three and a quarter by three, or just a hair less than three, like two and seven eighths, if you want to be exact. That way, it, I know it's not going to overlap. You don't have to put a little divot for the pull um, knob, knob, thumb, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Y'all know, I'm trying to think of a word. What is that word? I just like the little thumb notch thing. <clears throat> it, it indicates, hey, there's something in here. Don't miss it. There might be something good in there that you want to see. And so I always just do it just because it's fun. But you certainly don't have to. You don't have to ink the edges if you don't want to. You can really just have fun with this and make it your own. All right, so that's what I'm going to do with that right now. All right, so I'm going to glue these down three sides only, here and here, and then we're going to decorate the outside. You see what I did to my bead stopper tupper? I bent it, which I got some more pins. I just haven't stopped long enough to change it out and get a new pin. It takes a... I get busy doing stuff and then I'm like I don't want to stop and go look for those pins now see this see how it comes in on the edges of course I've got to trim that because I haven't done that yet so I will do that as soon as I get these glued on and any kind of glue will work that with this is paper to paper but I do like my art glitter glue I use it for lots of stuff lots of lots of. <clears throat> okay now so now I'm just gonna go and trim off this little edge that's poking over where I cut it in just a little I did one straight up and down and I just didn't like it it just didn't look as cute of a little house shape to me but that's just my personal preference all right so now I'm going to go ahead and ink up this flap, and I'm not going to worry too much about it because I'm going to put something over it in a minute. All right, so then we're going to cut our windows and our door. Now, I didn't even measure it. I just kind of eyeballed it, but it's almost one and a half by almost one. But you could make your door whatever size you like, whatever works for you. I got this little piece of scrap sitting here, so I'm going to try that. So I'm going to cut this at almost one, and then I said almost one and a half. And that can be a door. Let's see. Yeah, um, well, shoot, if I put a door there, it's going to cover up my butterfly. Oh, fiddle faddle. 
I liked him too. All right. Think before you cut. <laughs> Think before you cut. All right. So we'll have another little, um, well, that's got a bend in it. I don't want that. Right, let's try this one. So almost an inch and almost an inch and a half. All right. There's two doors. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if I like that any better there. Pink. Just doesn't show up very much, does it? But I did the faux stitching around the edges. Now, you could really stitch on your uh, saw machine if you wanted to. But, of course, do that before you glue the pocket down. Because once it's glued down, you can't stitch on it or you'll stitch your pocket closed. All right. So, I'm going to say this one's going to go right here after I drop it and get glue all over my desk. And this one is going to go right here. You can make your doors out of anything, too. It could be even a piece of lace. Um, and the windows, I used some printed paper that was not exactly the same. I mean, it's the same piece of paper, but just different pieces of it, just to make it more interesting. Okay, so I just cut out four little pieces that are going to be my windows, and they are about almost an inch by three quarters of an inch. But again, you make them whatever size and whatever shape you want them to be, and glue them wherever you want them on your um, house. You don't have to put them up as high or you, you don't have to do two windows. It could be one window. Just whatever you like. And then I'm going to take my little pin and do the faux stitching. What I'm doing here is I'm putting, I put the roof down so I can see the placement of the window because I like for my roof edge, um, whatever lace and stuff I use, I like for it to overlap the window just a hair. So that's why I'm putting that roof down when I'm doing that, just to kind of look and see where's the roof going to hit so it, it doesn't look like it's just kind of sticking out there in the middle. All right, so I've just got a little fine tip marker here. So I'm just going to do my little faux stitching, which you don't have to do, but I like it. So I'm going to do that all the way around all the pieces. Okay, so I just took my pen and I just went around all the windows and the doors. And now I'm going to make the little lines in your windows, which you don't have to do, but I thought I would. And you can make as many as you want to. Well, I missed part of that one, didn't I? Um, those I just made a square in the middle. You could make two squares if you wanted to, or three squares, and I mean, just however big you want your window panes to be. Okay, and then I'm going to do this one. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pick out the trim that we want for our roof. And anything goes. You could Now, I'm using lace and trims and stuff like that. But if you wanted to, you could definitely um, cut a piece of trim with your die cut or fancy edge scissors or whatever you could cut a piece to go there if you wanted to all right so that is that okay so what i've chosen for one of my houses i want this little pearly trim and for my other house i want another one of these i really liked this because it has that little scallop look to it it's so cute i just i love the way that looks so gingerbread cottagey <laughs> oh i just made a new word cottagey okay so on this one i'm gonna put this little pearly trim and i am using uh fabrifix in my glue bottle here which is moving slow because it's been a little chilly here although i do have my windows open right now because it just is so nice outside today i think we hit 70 or 71 so nice or maybe it, it may be 
more than that, <clears throat> but it's very, very my kind of weather. I love this weather. If I can have my windows and doors open, man, I'm happy. I love that. Okay, now I'm going to put this one, and I'm just kind of putting it on the edge because I want it to overlap. I want the scallops to overlap. Let me just check my placement. Okay, I've got a little fiber in there. Go away. All right. And on this glue, you know, of course, in places, it's going to stick through the little holes. So I found that if I just push my finger down on it and pick up the glue that might have oozed out or through a little hole, it works pretty well. And then I'm going to trim my lace still at this angle. See where my... um roof is going at an angle. I'm going to trim it right at that angle so that it continues to flare out just a little. Um, oh, I hate those scissors. They hurt my hands. Okay. And this one, let's get something better. And I'm just, hmm, gosh, what am I going to do with that little guy? I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to do this one hard way. I'm going to have to go back in and glue these little pieces here in. Okay, done that. Now I've cut my little chimney pieces and they are three quarters of an inch wide, actually a hair more than three quarters, and length is about one and a quarter, but it doesn't matter. And that looks crooked. I'm going to fix that. You make it whatever size you want or leave it off completely. You could still put a paper clip on top, put a flower on it or a, a bird sitting on top of the house or something. Um, it doesn't have to be a chimney, but it's fun. So why not? And then I just cut the little top edges. I just beveled them just a little off, like just take the point off for the top of the chimney because I just thought it looked cute that way. Now for the back... I'm going to use another piece, but it's going to be smaller, and it doesn't need to be as wide, and that's to attach our paper clip. So here's how we're going to do that. Where's the paper clips? Here they are. First of all, I'm going to tie my eyelash yarn on there. Okay, so I went ahead and put my eyelash yarn onto my paper clip. I'm going to take the piece that I'm not using and I want the small side of the clip on it. So I've got the large side on the back. That's the side we're actually going to use. Here's my chimney and here's the top of my chimney. So, whoop, don't do it that way. We want to hot glue this or you can glue it ever how you want to. But when I'm doing this particular type of work, I usually just go ahead and hot glue it because I need it to stick quick. And I need it to hold. All right, there we go. So now we have a paper clip and we have a chimney. How cute is that? <laughs> you can decorate it or not. Totally up to you. All right, so we do the same thing here. Put the small side on the inside. Take your paper clip. And keep the long, the big side of the paper clip on the outside. Put some glue and put it down. And I'm I'm gluing these down where you don't really see the top of the paper clip because the only thing I want you to see is some smoke coming out. You can see that one just a little showing, but that's okay. Where's you at? Where are you at? Come here, house. All right, now. I'm going to put that little guy right there. Oh my gosh. Aren't they so cute? All right, now we need to come up with something, darling, for the doorknob. And and this is just a, you ain't gotta. This is a, you ain't gotta, but if you wanna. I took these and I just, I took like some pretty lace. And I just kind of went over it like that to give it some more shabby chicness. You don't have to. You could take some doily pieces if you wanted to. Oh, you could even do it with paper doily too. And that would be very cute and shabaliciously beautiful. <laughs> There's a little flower I may use in a minute. All right, so don't necessarily want to cover up my window. So I'm just kind of keeping my glue 
from the door to the window. And let's see how much of this. I'm going to put that right there. Okay, and there, see that glue coming through. So I'm just smashing it off with my hand so it doesn't shine, have that shininess because wherever the glue shows, it's going to dry shiny. I wish it wouldn't do that. They need to improve that. So see, now there's just an itty bitty piece of lace there. And then we probably need a itty bitty piece here, although I was going to use the other side of it. Let me see. Maybe we can put a little piece. Well, I just don't like that side. Okay, I got a ton of this stuff anyway. Um, bought it at a closeouts. Um, where was it? A thrift shop? I don't know, but it, I got the whole bo bolt. And I love, 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 love this lace. It is so... Um, it works so well for my projects, whatever I'm working on. This, this lace right here, just, you can do so much with it. So I'm just going to add this. And like I said, this is optional. You don't have to do any of this. But I like to shabby chic it up as much as I can. Now I'm going to turn that over so nowhere to trim. And I'm going to trim, and I'm going to trim, being careful not to cut my paper clip. Get off of there for a sec. All right, so, and then the last thing I do, or did, to the other ones is added some pearls and some crystals. Get off of there. There we go. Oh, yeah, I like that. All right, I'm going to do this one. Okay, so I went ahead and added my stitching around the chimneys, and then I thought about this little heart punch here. Um, so I was going to make a doorknob out of it, but it was really a little bigger than I wanted it for a doorknob. So I decided I'm just going to put the heart on my door, and it can be um, a window or a just a decoration or something doesn't matter speaking of windows you could put a little um window there i mean you could actually punch the heart out and make a window there if you wanted to which would be absolutely precious okay doorknob time so let's put a little dot of glue and let's have maybe just a white pearl doorknob Oh, that's so cute. All right, on this one, let's see. Doorknob. I've got other colors. I was thinking about using this little blue here. Mm, he don't want to cooperate with me. All right, well, you'll get a white pearl too. All right, then I think I'm going to add some of these pearls up around the chimney just because it's pretty okay they are finished so i added two pearls and one crystal on that chimney and i went ahead and did some faux stitching around the heart on the door too all right and then here's this one i've got three little pearls on the top of that chimney very nice so there's four little house flip pockets so it's a different way to flip your house. Ha, 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 ha. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Give it a try. Bye-bye.